<laughs> Hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. Um, obviously my name is Sam and this is Katie and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing well we're going to be trying something this year. For 2022 we're going to be doing weekly update videos where we're going to be answering questions from you guys and also going over some of the things um, just like normal things like what movies that we've been watching. Yeah. What games. What books maybe that we've been reading and so we've received actually a ton of questions we get them all the time so this is just one of the ways that we can kind of give back to you and answer those questions um, so the first question here is what board game would you most like to see digitized this is from my friend Josh hi Josh <laughs> me first sure that's kind of a hard one yeah that is a hard one I've been thinking about it ever since we got that question um, the board game I want to see digitized most is Everdell, for sure. That's happening. I know it's happening, oh, okay. and I'm very okay, excited okay, okay, about okay. it, yeah. yeah. But th that I guess Tapestry, too. Both of those ones are just it's games also happening. that I wish I could... Oh, yeah, I know! Tapestry's also happening. <laughs> so my dreams are coming true. Okay. But I would love to see it, because then I would love to be able to play them throughout the day, just like I play Wingspan throughout the day. Totally. Yeah, we fun. play a lot of Wingspan and I play a lot of Root. It's really good. Mm -hmm. um, I think that mine would be Disney Villainous, like an official Ooh, that like, would be really app cool. version would be really cool. Yeah. It doesn't even have to be crazy, just like just the cards digitized and then just like being able to play them. I think that would be like really nice. And I think that's like the next like elevation to the game. I don't know. That would be really cool. I feel like that would yeah. be a really good one. Um, in two words or less, describe each other's play styles. We were already thinking about this yeah, one too. Yeah, we were thinking about this one. Um, you're definitely more, you like a war heavy game. Anything where you can attack the other players, that's what you, oh, that's not two words or less. <laughs> Just get like 60 oh. words. <laughs> war heavy, is that a good? War heavy? Yeah. War heavy. <laughs> <gasps> I don't know. Yeah, I think that works. Um, Cause I don't, I would say cutthroat, you know, but I don't, I don't think you're cutthroat. Okay. I don't, I think you're nicer War than War heavy, that. cutthroat. Rude. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, you're not aggressive. Rude. No, I think I, I think she's right though. I think you're right. You just like to battle people. I do. I like to. I'm not like that in real life. So in board game space, I just like to attack people and mm -hmm. be very upfront with pretty much every move I do. So it's fun. I would say me? you are like just solitaire. Yeah. That'd be like my one word, like solitaire, or like solo game solo game or solitaire because you just only focus on yourself which is good that's true you usually win because of that like you're just like super war. super focused like on what you're doing making sure that your engine's all going good and i'm just like working on my engine but then trying to throw wrenches in you yeah that's pretty much <laughs> that's pretty much it that's true okay what are our favorite snacks i actually well, like that question yeah what kind of snack are we thinking well, I'd say that we I should choose like one that's more like salty and one that's like sweet. Okay, my favorite food is cookies. So cookies are my favorite snack. I would so say. sweet. Is yeah. that sweet? That can be my sweet thing. Sure. Cookies. What's your favorite? Not sweet snack. Yeah. I'll think about it. You. What is yours? My favorite, like, uh, sweet snack would have to be Twizzlers. The Twizzler mm -hmm. bites, though. They're like the little teeny ones. Those ones are the best ones. The ones with holes are the ones, not the nibs, the, the bites. The bites. Yeah. The bites are the best. They're just so easy to eat and they taste like plastic. And they're just <laughs> yeah, so it's good. really gross. Yeah, I take my board gaming hobby a little crazy. I like things that taste like plastic as well as things that are plastic. It's so stupid. Awesome. <laughs> um, sweet things, uh, I think. Savory things? Or savory things. I have so many, but right now wow. it's, um, there's kettle chips that are um, bourbon barbecue flavored. So yeah. it's like a little bit of like beer kind of mm. barbecue mixture. It's just a basic barbecue chip. No, it's bourbon barbecue. <laughs> and it really, okay. you can tell the difference. It's really good. It has just like a nice little tint of yeah. something in there. You have it's, been it's into this. really good. Also, popcorn's your number one. Well, yeah, I eat popcorn year round. Just right now, kettle chips are kind of Actually, kettle chips inside of the popcorn is also really good. <laughs> Both great. Yeah. What about you? Um, I guess it's so hard. Goldfish crackers, I guess, are my goldfish go-to. Goldfish crackers. Or like good goldfish. Um, I like goldfish crackers. Salt and vinegar chips are my favorite kind of chip. Salt but and vinegar chips. I don't eat chip. a lot of chips. Salt and vinegar chips are good. 
I'm done. I'm done. I like Both that. of those are good. Okay. What are our favorite books? Hunger Games is my favorite books. She's read it like so many times. <laughs> Every yeah. year. Every year. She reads them all the way through again. Yep. I've read them all the way through once. They're really good. They're really good. They're really good. You should read them again. I would say that my favorite book though... Ooh, that's so hard. I think it's probably... This is gonna sound so cliche, but it's probably still The Giver. Yeah. Yeah. I really like The Giver. Yeah. I like the whole series though. I like The Giver, Gathering Blue, Messenger, and Sun. So many people only knew that there was The Giver. And then because just, of the movie. Right, right. Or because they had to read it for school. Oh, I guess like, that's like true. Like I did and yeah. like you did. But didn't was not told that there was a second, third, and fourth book. Yeah. So they're all really good. The Giver series is great. Yeah, they're really good. Yeah. What's the next question? Alright, I'm gonna pass this over to you, our little list. We just went with that one. What's that one next? What game can't we play with each other anymore and why? We don't have it. We don't have a game? Do we have a game that we cannot play with no. each other? <laughs> no, usually it, like we'll get mad right after a game, but it only takes like 10 minutes to be okay again. Uh huh? We're competitive, but we're not like... We're not like, you know... Too sensitive. Yeah, no, not at all. Very competitive, but not too sensitive. Yeah. Mostly you. I hope there's never a game that we can not... <laughs> play with each other anymore. That I really hope like. not so, yeah. yeah. I really hope not so. There might be a game that we just choose to not play, though, because we just don't like it. That's so that true. would be the more common thing. And to that, I mean, we don't want to down on anybody's game right yeah. now. Yeah, I can't even think of anything. I have a couple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, next one. What is the Disney villainous character you'd most appreciate seeing in a future expansion? Oh man, I got pretty much everybody I wanted. I no, I didn't. I still have one. Frollo. I still really want Frollo. I know that his goal could be complex. I know that it would be tricky to avoid the perversion of his character in yeah. the movie. So like they'd have to like bypass that somehow, but they could do something with like because even like doing something with like the gypsies and stuff, that could be a little bit rough, you know. It's still like pretty sensitive stuff that it goes really on is, in yeah. there. It's complex. It's complex. Mm -hmm. But I really like him as a villain. So I think it would be really cool. And I think he's a lot better than like Radcliffe from Tarzan. Right. Yeah. I think he's lame. He's very stupid. And oh. also not a good goal either. That would be stupid. Yeah. Like what is he even... I don't know. I don't care to see Tarzan. I mean, yeah. I would be happy to see it, but I don't really care. Yeah. Uh, this is so hard. I feel like this question comes up a lot and I just don't know. Hawk Moth, I guess I'll say it. I said it before and I'll say it again. I want Miraculous Ladybug. <laughs> Is that Disney? Yeah. I don't want Hawk Moth. <laughs> like, come on, it'd be <laughs> so good. It'd be okay. I'm sure there's somebody. It would be so fun. Hawk Moth would be kind of cool. They're just so weird. They're such weird looking characters, you know? Would it match with the game? Okay, they're all redrawn. That's fair. Okay, I think, I think it would be interesting. I had no idea that was Disney. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Wow. All well, right. Hawk Moth. All Hawk right. Moth. <laughs> um, oh, this one's from Raina. From One Minute Board Games. Hi. <laughs> what games do you like to play more than the other person? Oh. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> what games do like we like to play more than the other person? Oh. What game do you like to play more than me? Yeah. <sighs> oh, I already know mine. Say it. It's sad. Imperium Legends and Classics. Yeah, it's... I don't like the art style. I think if I liked the the art, I would like it. But I think it's the art thing. style is like such a it's a really important aspect of the game. But like, did it's you such enjoy a long the game. Yeah, and it but it's such a long game to like be looking at ugly stuff. Dang, I really like the art style. Though. I know you do. The colors just aren't for me. Yeah, well, that mine mine's Imperium Legends and Classics, which is like. Probably my game of the year. Yeah, for I know. At least this really year, like honestly, it's it is just super so fun. fun. Also, so I just good. don't love deck deck builders. <sighs> it's sad, you know. It's sad, but yeah, I enjoy that game more, and I I would love to play it like so much more. Which is why I, I play it solo, actually. Yeah, the, you the do first all the time. Solo game that I've ever actually like legit gotten into. Maybe you want into. to do that one, digitized. Yeah. That would be a really cool one, digitized, because that would like 
save so much time with setup and breakdown and all that. Mm -hmm. You know, and I can see that game getting to a competitive point. Like, yeah. people could master one faction and, or sorry, one civilization and really get good at that civilization. And that's something that would be really cool, like tournaments and stuff. That would be so but, yeah. cool. Alrighty. How about you? <laughs> game that you like to play that uh, I don't. Mine's so boring. It's just Everdell. That's not true though. I like Everdell. But I like it more than you. Yeah, but like, okay, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> that's sad. I like. I like Everdell. I like a lot of shorter games oh. that you just don't care to play anymore. Like Fort. I would like to play that again. Yeah. What's that should. worm game that we played that one time? Oh, um, Tapeworm. Yeah, that one was that's fun. That's a fun one. But you would never play it. Like, anything short and light, you don't want to play. Like, Dang. I don't want to waste 20 minutes of my life. But I would want to yeah. waste 20 minutes. We should start doing the thing where we play, like, three short games. Because that takes up about an hour's time. I just like to sit down for long amounts of time. Yeah. And be able to play something. That's, like, my whole thing. Just because it's relaxing for me, you know? Like, I don't want to just set aside, like, 10 minutes. You yeah. Know? But, yeah, you wouldn't. No. No. So I guess that's my answer. Oh. This is a funny one. What? Can you say it? I can't read them. Most disappointing movie of 2021. Oh. Most disappointing movie of 2021. It's a movie. We actually love movies a lot. We yeah. watch a lot of movies. We collect all of what oh. we've watched on Letterbox. Yeah. Letterboxed. And we just put everything that we watch. We just review them or put our stars on like how what we think about them. We just really like movies. We watch we a do. lot of movies. Mm -hmm. We watched a lot of movies this year. Yeah. But, I, dude, to think of, like, a most disappointing movie, do you have one that you can think of pretty, like, off the top of your head? Um, In the Heights, honestly. Oh. <laughs> I just wanted more from it. Ooh. I know. <laughs> yeah, I would... That's the one off the top of my head. I think I would agree. I mean, I don't want to, like, say that that's mine, too. So, this next question is from Brother Wise Games. What is it? What is that question? How do you two balance gaming with other ways you like to spend time together? From date nights to watching TV on the couch. So I'd say that we probably, we don't really like, because we keep a pretty like limited amount of games um, or gaming time. We keep it at a limit. Like we don't game every single night or anything. Like that's just kind of a part of like what we do in the evening. So we'll usually just talk in the morning and communicate what are we going to do when I get home from work tonight? Mm -hmm. Are we going to watch a movie? Are we going to play a game? Or are we going to kind of like separate and be creative? And I think that we just kind of decide day by day on what our vibes are. But yeah. we pretty much just like have dinner and watch a movie or a TV show pretty much every night. Because that's just so easy <laughs> to eat and watch TV. And then yep. we end up like binge watching shows. Yeah. <laughs> and that'll, that'll last all night. Yeah. And it was really nice when we would do date nights on Sunday because mm -hmm. then we would have, like, we'd actually go out and eat on a Sunday or, like, do something special on a Sunday. So then board gaming would just be kind of like it, that or TV show yeah. in an evening, which was really nice. Really I like good. I like that setup. And I think it works for both of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think that we both crave to play board games. So whenever we want to, we just do. We just do. Yeah. yeah. We have a lot of games that we want to play right yeah. now. And we usually have nights free. So that yeah. helps too. That does. That helps a lot. Um, next question, <laughs> this is funny, when will the gorge map be ready? So if you guys don't know, the gorge map is a map that I made and it is ready right now. It's actually playable. It's on, um, but it's only on TTS. It's not like a downloadable file yet. I don't know. I, I think I should just put it up on there, but I just haven't yet. Cause I wanted to have like measurements for you guys to like print it out. If you guys wanted to put it on like neoprene or something, cause that's what I want to do. But I did print it. Um, yeah, and it looks great. Yeah. I'll show some pictures of that, but. Yeah, it's a cool map. I really like it. And a lot of people have played it, which is really cool. So hopefully it will be available soon. Yeah. Both Cole Worley, designer of Root, and Patrick Leader have played it and both said that they really enjoyed it. So that's, awesome. uh, that's, that's a cool, that's yeah. a cool feeling. But uh, it's ready. It just isn't public, but it is on TTS right now. So yeah. Next one, best villainous characters. So this would be just like the character that we are best at in villainous. Captain Hook for you. Would you say Captain Hook? For you? Yeah, because I think I enjoy playing Evil Queen more because it's harder for me, like a harder puzzle. With Captain Hook, I feel like I've you just know the it. Yeah, you literally yeah. have. I just know exactly what to do, and it doesn't mm -hmm. feel like a puzzle anymore. It's just like, wow, this character's OP when you know what to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just do it. That's fair. That's fair. What one am I the best at? 
I don't know. You're good at a lot of characters. I think that's the problem we're running into. <laughs> I would say your best might be um, Dr. Facilier. I do like him. When you play him, you win. Unless I, I don't. Yeah. But I mean, pretty much you always win when you play him. I'd yeah. say you're really good at Dr. Facilier, but who knows? I would say that's one. Okay. Well, who I like you, him. So what do you say? I don't know. Okay. okay. I don't know. Which game do. Okay, so this is directed. It's Tim! Hi, Tim. <laughs> so he's asking, which game do I like, but you do not like? And who got into board games first? So a game that I like that you do not like. I don't want to say the same one. Yeah, I don't want there's to say more than one. Imperium <laughs> Classics. Oh yeah, she doesn't really like Viscounts of the West Kingdom or Architects of the West Kingdom. And I love both of those games. I like Brew and you don't like Brew. That's true. Why don't you? I don't know. Man, we're, we're getting into the, the board game, what we don't like. Maybe we should make a list of board games that we just didn't like. I don't really like, want to be negative though. I, I hate being negative. Yeah, because it's a good game. Yeah. I think it's so cute. This really turned around, because it was supposed to be a game that you don't <laughs> like, and now you're all getting at me for not really liking Brew right now. Jeez. Um, it's mm. an enjoyable. I, I like it. It's just... I didn't also, like it as much as you. That's unmatched, true. do you like that one? Oh, I like Unmatched, and you don't like Unmatched. That's a good one. I like Unmatched a lot, and I don't play it enough, because you don't like it. Uh, not that much. She just doesn't like it. So that's probably a good one. Yeah. Oh, also, who got into board games first? We got into board games probably the same time, but I was more into board games than you were. Yeah. And we also we played you, different board games. Yeah, you got into board games first. Like that, you were raised more on board games. True. And I was not as much. True. Yep. And yeah. then when we met, it just kind of blossomed from there. Yep. Next question actually kind of goes into that. Was Katie um, a board game lover before marrying you, or did she develop a love after marrying me? With the limited board games I played, I loved them, but nobody I had nobody to play with. And then, well, I met you young, but then once we started dating, right. uh, I did have people to play board games with, and right. I think that I, I definitely love board games a lot now. Yeah, yeah. So and I think it started, it started too when we were dating. It wasn't just like when I married you, but like also when we were dating, mm -hmm. that was like... Yeah. We just started playing. That was one of the things that we did with my friends, too. So it just kind of started there and just kind of blossomed from yep. there. But you already liked board games. You were already a gamer. You just... I just didn't I have just had the... to unlock it. Exactly. In you, you know? I just, like, gave you the key <laughs> That's to the door that was already there. You know, that's a poetic way to put 100%. it. 100%. <laughs> Kavre asks, if you could play board games with anyone in the world, who would it be? This is a complicated question because a part of me just wants to say somebody that I've just wanted to meet <laughs> just because yeah. I've wanted to meet them but not necessarily play a board game with them. Yeah, I would like to but they might not like board games so it's just tricky but I can't, I can't just choose, you know, I mean I already did play uh, multiple games with one of my board game heroes which is Becca Scott. Very cool. I would like to do it in person someday but you know I'll take online, that was cool. So cool. And I've already played board games with both Cole and Patrick. So, so awesome. those are some other heroes of mine. I still would love to play a board game with Rodney Smith. Mm, that's a good one. Smith and Smith. Yeah. And specifically a coin game because he's been really into them. And Root is essentially just a cute coin game. I don't. I'm not in the board game community the way you are. So. You are. No. We played, we played, actually, you know what's really funny is that we were able to play board games with Brain in a Jar, and she watched Brain yeah. in a Jar before I watched Brain in a Jar. That's true. She got me onto Brain in a Jar. On TikTok? Yeah. Yeah. Because I'm not on TikTok, so she was like super into it, and then when we were able to meet them, that was so cool. That was that so cool. That was awesome. And now we've hung out with them multiple times. They've come over and we've gone over there. Yeah. That's a cool one. Friends. I just like to play with friends. Definitely. Yeah. So, next question. A board game, a board gamer, a board gamer. <laughs> uh, next question, a board gamer. Um, hello, he's in the Discord channel, which is really cool. Very cool. Um, we see you do a lot of videos on Villainous and Root. Would you say that these are your favorite games? If so, what three games would you choose as your favorite games, excluding these two? That's complicated, because by favorite games are we talking like top favorite games? I think so. Because Root is definitely in my top favorite game. That's what game. he's saying. But Villainous wouldn't be like at my top. 
seven favorite games. Well, you can't say those two. So, so, I, so I would just have to choose three games that are not. So three games that I would choose as my favorites, excluding those. Yep. Right now, off the top of my head, which it's really tough to like, you know, wrap my head around everything that I'm trying to do. But it would probably be um, Dune Imperium. Imperium Classics Legends mm -hmm. right now. It's just really good. It's a really, really good game. Ooh, man, the last, probably Tapestry, honestly. I really love Tapestry. Me too. So those would probably be like my three. Yeah. What, would, what would be like your three? So what are some games that you have been, and this is gonna be the last question for this episode. What are some games that you have been playing with a group that prefers lighter games? We've had a couple that have come around. What would you say is one that? I really liked um, Cuphead to Cup, play with. Cuphead is wonderful. Yeah. Just a group. I love how fast paced it is, mm -hmm. and um, you can stop whenever you want to. You can stop after the yes. first boss, or how many bosses are there? There's eight total. Yeah, we've never played till bosses. the end. We have not played all the way up to eight because we're just like perfectionists and we like to go through it and not just keep going if we lose. Yeah, but it's been super fun. Yeah. It's been a really great game, and it, we've taught it to a lot of people. We gifted it this year, yeah. so there have been just a lot of opportunities with that game. That game is going to be a new one to like introduce to people, to just get them into gaming. It's yeah. very light. It's very light. It's so easy to teach. So now our own personal questions. This is just going to be the thing that we kind of repeat oh, good. Uh, every single episode. So not questions from other people. We're just going to ask ourselves these questions. So how was your New Year's? Oh, it was good. Yeah? Uh, what did we do we for did... New Year's? What did we do for New Year's? Um, well, we just we just hung out at the house. Yeah, we was super low key. For New we Year's. played a couple games. It was so snowy for like the whole week after Christmas. It snowed, and the, like all the roads were closed. We couldn't really go anywhere. Couldn't go anywhere. We we're just stuck inside, which is great. It was so much Loved fun. That yeah. Vibe. <laughs> Loved that vibe. That's like my favorite yeah. vibe ever. So yeah, it was a good New Year's. We were able to put together some New Year's resolutions, some specifically gaming ones. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Um, let's see. Well, we've got goals here. Uh, so the first one that we're going to be doing is we're going to try the 10x10 challenge. Yeah. So if you don't know what that is, you basically choose 10 games and you have to play each game that you choose 10 times. That's within a year. Seems impossible, but <laughs> we're going to we're going to do this. Yeah. Um, so I've got the list right here and I'm going to be putting it up on the screen as I go. But the first game that we chose is Cuphead, fast mm -hmm. rolling dice game. It's a good game. We were just talking about that. Descent Legends of the Dark. Because we need to continue our campaign. Of yeah. it. We need to like literally get that going. So, Dwellings of Eldervale. It's a deep game. It's a yeah. fun game. It's Tim's favorite game, and I need to it's appreciate his it. It's his favorite game. It's his favorite game. Yeah, easily. He talks about it all the time. And we have like the also, ones with the bases. Yeah. The only yeah. reason I got it was because of him. So yeah, we we so owe it to him. Tim and to the board game community. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, we're gonna play that one ten times this year. Everdell, because we love Everdell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's really no other reason. We play I that just one. Play it we ten already times, play that least. one ten times a year. Yeah, it's true. Um, Imperial Settlers, Empires of the North. Another one that we just want to throw in there because we just like to play it. Yeah. We play that one a lot. Imperium Classics. I'm most excited about <laughs> this one because this is a game that it's been very tough to get her to play with me. So now you have to. I'm in a master of faction. That's my. What, what are they called? Uh, civilization. I'm in a master of civilization. I would say it's better to say civilization with just that game specifically because it is historical. But right. most games you could say faction. But in this, it's like a culture or civilization. So it's cool. Merchant's Cove, which we're oh, both really excited Merchant's about Cove. because we both love that game. It's been so and long since we've played. I know, because my box is with my brother getting the miniatures are getting oh, painted right now. So when I get those miniatures painted, then we're gonna finish out the strategy series and we're gonna be playing a lot more. So there's a lot to come with Yay, Merchant's so Cove excited. this year. Oath Empires. Sorry, Oath Chronicles of Empire and Exile. This game is like it's really great. Yeah. It's a really fun game. And we haven't played it enough. It is so hard to get to the table. Yeah. But we do have a couple of avenues now that we're going to take advantage of this year. We've got Brandon Jar who, who wants to play it. Mm -hmm. We've got my friend group and we've got our own table. We've got my brothers. We've got a lot of we've yeah. got a lot of groups now. So we're gonna get ten games in and we're gonna we're gonna hopefully have one continued chronicle of ten games. Yeah, I'm so yeah, excited. It's gonna be super fun. This is a new game to us that we were able to play. It's just a new game that released this year by Jamie Stegmeier. This is Rolling Realms. Yeah. We really love this game. I yeah. really love this game. It's 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 really fun. It's really fun and it seems short. 
super short and you can play multiple games in a row, which we yeah. did. We played uh, a couple games in a row. It's it's really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, definitely check that one out. So my first roll and write game that I've been like liked. Yeah. Besides like the Oracle Faction and Merchant's Cove, so Rolling Realms. And then the last one in our list of 10x10 is Tapestry. Once again, of another course. game that we just want to play like 10 times. Even and though with we, the new expansion. With the new expansion, we Arts and more. Architecture, yeah. yeah. So we really got to get used to the new factions, the new player boards. There's yeah. so much to explore. When we played the faction, this, you know, the last time we played, yeah. we played with the expansion, yep. and I didn't really like it. So... He didn't like the faction that you played, or you didn't like the the, the I didn't arts, like the arts the architect track. track. Yeah, I was I going like it just distracted. I was going on it more, but it definitely was a little bit tough to get used to, like realizing that now we're going to be missing out on ten, uh, three tracks because you kind yeah. of go down two tracks mostly in this game, right. and like what a third track a little bit, mm -hmm. but now you're missing out on like three tracks, and it feels really bad. Yeah, it feels hard. It's harder. So it's just it's just a different puzzle we gotta figure yeah. out. We've and, scored uh, really low last time we played. Yeah, because we did. Of that. Yeah, we have to we just have to relearn the strats. We've gotta relearn the system. Yeah, I didn't even make it to the end of any track. I didn't either, did I? No, I don't think you did either. Nope, I didn't either. I was focused way too much on the arts track because it was the new thing. Did so I, I win that still? To get it. No, I won. Oh, me. I won by a decent amount. I was like 10, oh, yeah. 10 points oh, yeah. or so. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, 10 points. That's not a lot. I think. Oh, it was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot of points. Yeah. Good game. I love I love that game. Uh, so uh, the other one, the other one that we're going to do is 10 new to us games. Oh, um, yeah. Or just 10, 10, or no, no, no. It doesn't have to be 10 new to us games. Sorry. It's 10 games that we haven't played. So this could be like a way thing. to solve our shelf of shame. Oh, okay. Or a shelf of opportunity, as some are calling it. Because it can be <laughs> games that we have not played in our collection that we need to play. So, it, it could be those, or it could be just brand new games. Yeah. Or just 10 new games. That's only going to be an easier one. So if we fail the other one, we'll probably have that one completed. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty fun. That'll be a really but fun But what one. would you say, um, we'll ask these last couple questions, then we'll close up here. What would you say was your favorite game that we played last week? And we're going to do this one every time, so we'll be able to talk about our favorite game. What would be yours? My favorite game I played last week was Everdell. But we did play it because we, we've we always played it with both of the Pearlbrook and the Spirecrest expansions. Yeah. But this time we played it just with the Spirecrest. True. Because, didn't you read somewhere that we weren't supposed to play with them? In the rule book, it says when you play with Spirecrest, they recommend that you don't add any other expansions. Yeah. Which we have never listened to. We've no, we always, always played with everything that we have in the game. Played with both. We like do the multiple player power. I just want the game to be as mo like as interesting as possible. Mm -hmm. But we did play with just Firecrest. We did, and it was good. It was a good time. Yeah, I actually I think I liked I like to be able to go to the water area of Probrook though. I, I know. think that's my favorite spot. Like I just like that whole deal. Yeah, and but, the extra cards. Yeah, the there's water just cards more are really to do. Cool. The water cards are nice, but I get why they wouldn't because it is just so much to learn. I think for experienced gamers, it still works. Yeah. To do both, yeah, but I did like the know. experience of just focusing on one because it just it helped us both play that game to our fullest potential instead mm -hmm. of me going to the Pearl Brook and you pretty much going to the Spire Crest yeah. mostly. So it was good. It was good. It was a good time. Mm -hmm. That was a great. One. So my board game would be Pendulum. Mm -hmm. Because we love Pendulum. It's a real-time game, so there's no turns. We just play and play and play, and I just love that. It's a good game. It's and fun. we hadn't played it for yeah. a while. There's so much to explore there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's super fun. Because <laughs> it is fast, mm -hmm. and it's just a fun game. So. And it's like, because it's a timer game, it can't last more than... What yeah, was it's, it, like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something I think like we that. play a game in definitely under an hour. Yeah. And it's a it's a good experience. Yeah. It's like a full game experience in an hour. So it's just it's great. It's super fun. Really really good game. Um, the other question is, what was the favorite thing that we watched last week, um, or that we've been watching? Mine would be uh, actually the last duel. Oh yeah. I would say that was a the good last movie. duel was. It's a movie by uh, Ridley Scott. And it is seriously so, so, so good. And I don't think enough people have really watched this movie because it did release uh, only in theaters. So there's, there's no streaming option yet. Um, but this has Adam Driver, Matt Damon. Yeah. Um, and... Oh, yeah, Adam Driver. Yeah, Adam Driver. Love that guy. I was talking to somebody about it at work because they had uh, the seen it too. Role. Yeah, and I really? couldn't remember what the... I couldn't remember who was acting in it, but... Such a good movie. Who was the girl? 
uh, I always forget her name, but she was in Free Guy, which we did not watch yet. Oh. But she was also in that. And she's also, oh, Jody. It's Jody. Jody. I don't know. Jody? I. Colmer. <laughs> <laughs> Jodie Comer. Oh, you're right. I was close. Pretty I said right. Colmer. Yeah. Uh, I said Comer. Colmer. Jodie Comer. Yeah. Is her name. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, so really amazing movie. That was a good movie. Really just go watch it. I'm just going to tell everybody to go watch it because yeah, it's, it's it really needs good. more clout. Nobody's talking about it. It was a really, really good movie. I feel like I didn't watch anything good <laughs> within the last week, but uh, recently okay. we watched Spider Man and that was really. A great movie. 10 out of 10. I always loved Spider-Man ever since I was little. It was good to Yeah, Spider-Man No Way Home was a really, really good movie. We really can't talk much about that one, which sucks. No. There's just too many people that just, haven't seen it. I will say that I didn't like the other two with Tom Holland, but this one was really great. Yeah, we're both in that same camp, which is nice. We don't mean to like that. But this one was great, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Tom Holland, his best Spider-Man performance yet. Did not like him with his little Mr. Stark thing, you know? Yeah. Like, I just don't like how they're dumbing him down, making him like what a do you child. Think, what do you think about him with Doctor Strange, though? Is that uh, a spoiler? No, because it was in the trailer. Oh, okay. Weird. Just weird. And it makes me really mad that they always dumb down Doctor Strange. He's, like, super powerful, and they literally throw him through the ringer every single movie that isn't his own movie. In Avengers Endgame, he's just holding a wave the whole time. He's just holding water. <laughs> Yeah. Everybody else is doing actual stuff, and he's just holding water. Maybe he's not as powerful as you think. He is as powerful as I think. When he does things in his own movie, when he does things that are like really important to the story, Marvel just has terrible power leveling in all their movies. So, But uh, we want to ask you a question. What do we want to ask them? Uh, we want to ask you, what is your favorite movie you saw in 2021? That's a good question. Yeah, comment down below. And uh, that would be interesting to read maybe next episode. Yeah. You know, so we'll get some of your guys' favorite movies. So thank you guys so much for watching. And we will see you next time. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> My butt hurts so bad. <laughs> we're, we're fixing everything about this setup.